and Dragon Ball Fighters always had the biggest glow up. Now, there have been many characters who have had buffs that push them up a tier or two, but I think there are about five characters in the current meta who truly went from rags to riches. And the one we're going to be focused on today is the Eex grabbing Blueberry Assassin got his cheeks clapped by Jiren and act like it didn't even happen, Grillin known as Blue Vegeta. This nigga went from being a dysfunctional meme into becoming the meta. You know he's still got a big ass forehead though. But the buffs this man has received are literally ridiculous, and with these buffs emerge some chaotic playstyles. What's goody goody on hoodie hoodie is that brother's a miracle, and these are the different type of Vegeta Blue players. Before y'all even clicked the video, y'all already knew this was coming. But first off, I want to remind y'all how far this move has came. Pre-buffs, if you used to use this move, you wasn't getting no plus frames, no ridiculous combos, no super dash cancels, no nothing. You had zero game of use to use this move, and Yamcha could probably steal your girl. But then the buffs came, y'all just ran away with this move. First of all, why does this move do so much damage? 20%? For reference, this is twice as much as base Goku's beam, and you can use this move back to back in a combo. And don't even get me started on the assist. The assist literally evaporates your health bar for no reason. And in neutral, these big bangs just be flying. But why is it so deceivingly slow? Like, I go to reflect it on reaction, and I get punished. Like, excuse me, I thought I did the right thing. But even though I will never be afraid to admit that you big bang spammers are maniacs, the next type of Vegeta Boo players are a different breed. First of all, why does this move exist? Second of all, how do I boycott it? This move almost deserves to be banned. It should be sent to the Shadow Realm with Launch, Dragon Ball Evolution, and Pink Kryptonite. The only thing in mind that saves this from being completely broke is that you can crouch it. Like, really, nigga? You could snatch me out of my barrier, but if I pop a little squat, oh, now you can't reach me? On a scale of 1 to 10, you'll give me a 3, but yo, I can't even touch me if I'm trying to tie my shoes? And even though ducking is always the best option, not only is it still hard to punish, it's not even always an option. I'm in the air, he's snatching that ass. I try to take my plus frames, bro is still snatching that ass. Bro looks me dead straight in the eyes, asserts communism, and tells me it's our plus frames that proceeds to launch me into the back rooms. This move is too ignorant. Like the audacity this man has to just say no to anything I do is astonishing. And if there's one thing for certain, any moment where Eggs Grab can come out, it will come out. I promise you. Now, when many people think of zoners, they automatically fall asleep, and I don't blame you. Zoning can be boring, but I also think there's two different types of zoners, and I think these should definitely be separated. In my eyes, there are lazy zoners, and there are zoners who are actually trying to control space. There is a difference. With lazy zoners, they'll just sit full screen, spam key blast, with maybe this is called Big Bang. Lame. Like, what is really stopping me from jumping over that goofy stuff and cracking your dumb peach while you cry about Blue Vegeta not being a good zoner? But then on the other hand, we have zoners who actually have strategy, and quite frankly, I support these types. Not every character is built to be a rushdown character, and I believe that each character has different zones that they thrive in. But to me, there's something magical watching the mind games have to go into good zoning. If you ever watch someone like Mr. Acolyte, you know he uses a zoning focused team, but he makes it interesting by laying his projectiles and assists and overall just having good screen control. Anyways though, it's the same with Blue Vegeta, like, seeing people confirm intentionally with his level 1 super off the key blast gets me hyped. Like, okay, I see you, you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing, you're doing a little something. But yeah, in my eyes, you just cannot put the Blue Vegeta zoners who just can't fool screen the same group as the blue vegeta zoners who actually know what they're doing also y'all y'all remember when blue vegeta couldn't even 2 h you they had to buff y'all to become a viable character the buffs he got to his zoning were honestly pretty needed so hey if that's what you want to do go ahead i don't even hate it i think i'm gonna wrap it up here though so if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe and let me know who you want to see in one of these videos next or let me know who you think had the biggest glow up in dragon ball fighters until then though peace